safe place for drug users to get high. The state is considering supervised injection sites in Boston, and today the public is weighing in. And as you can imagine, this idea is highly controversial. But supporters insist that it could help ease the state's opioid crisis. WBZ's chief investigative reporter, Shelfie Ndaka, is here with more from today's meeting. Very testy meeting it was, David and Lisa. A meeting got underway today in the city of Boston, and its residents got their first chance to weigh in on the supervised injection site proposal. Now, the pilot program, which still needs to be approved by the state, would put two clinics in Boston where drug users can shoot up under the supervision of medical professionals. The sites use clean needles and are staffed with doctors and nurses who can help in the case of an overdose. They also encourage drug users to get treatment. Some people say the plan works, but others say they don't want a place like this in their own backyard. And finally, doctor, where do you live? What, what community do you, do you live? I live in Newton. You live in Newton. So do you think this is, would be great across the street from your house? If that's where the state felt it was the most advantageous to help the people well, of the Commonwealth, yes. I'm a person who uses drugs, who would use a SIF if it was available. My safety net right now consists of doing a slow shot, testing for fentanyl presence with a strip, and immediately after injection, and immediately continuing to text back and forth for a few minutes to ensure that someone would know if I overdosed and may hopefully get to me in time to save my life if something went wrong. Well, the state's proposed plan is being compared to an injection site program already in place in Vancouver, Canada. The report states that Vancouver has seen a 35% decrease in opiate deaths since the site opened. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Cheryl.